Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gina with Impressive Glow Spray Tan and Spray Tan Training, where my ultimate mission is to help women, moms, single moms, learn how to start a side hustle as a spray tan technician and gain a little bit of financial independence in the process. So I've been training a lot of girls one-on-one -on -one in my um, home studio the last couple months. It's kind of been crazy, I've been super busy. And a lot of the most consistent questions um, asked uh, or one of the most consistent questions asked is, should I start mobile or should I have an in-home studio? And I thought it's a great question. Um, I have my own personal take on it, uh, but I thought I would give you guys a list of the pros and cons of each situation and maybe some things that you guys hadn't thought about yet or things that you should think about before you start your business and kind of let you know some of the experiences that I've had along the way. So if you're interested in hearing about the pros and cons of starting a mobile business and an in-home studio, stay tuned. All right, so starting a mobile spray tan business can have pros and cons. Um, when I first initially started my spray tan business, I started out as a mobile spray tan technician. It only lasted about two months before uh, the pros or the cons kind of outweighed the pros for me uh, very quickly. So, but I thought I would share some of the things that I thought are pros and cons. There's probably so many more out there that other, other people can share with you. This is just my personal take on it. Um, so being mobile, a couple of the pros is not being in your home. Uh, when I first started, I was really sketchy about, or really worried about people being in my house, knowing where I lived. I was a single mom of two kids, and at the time, that wasn't, it was kind of scary for me. Um, so definitely, you're not in your home, you're going to somebody else's home, um, so there's could be some safety in that in the long run of people maybe knowing where you live and showing up later. Um, so that's one of the pros um, for that. Um, you can definitely charge more money. <laughs> this is a service of convenience and so definitely and I encourage you if you're going to do mobile, please charge more than you would in a salon or in your in a home studio because there's so much that goes along with being a mobile technician that people don't think about and you really do need to have people pay for um, for that convenience. Uh, another pro that is what initially I thought would be a great thing was it's convenient for your clients. Some people just don't want to go somewhere to have a spray tan done. They love the idea of you coming to their home. Uh, they don't have to walk out feeling, you know, sticky. They can just already be in their pajamas and, you know, that's it. They like a place for you to come and set up. Um, and that works for some people. So those are honestly the pros I could think of when I was making this list. I'm sure there's more things that are great about it. Um, but I wasn't initially a fan of it after I started doing it for a couple reasons and we'll talk about some of them. So some of the cons that came up for me is you're in somebody else's home. The safety of that terrified me. Um, not knowing, you know, I was going to homes for women to spray tan them but not knowing, you know, husbands, family, people who they know, like walking into somebody else's house home was a little bit more scarier for me um, to think about and being kind of, I don't really know the neighborhood, I don't know the people. Um, so definitely think about that. I was constantly texting my mom or somebody, you know, here's the information, this is where I am. If you don't hear from me, you know, in 10 minutes that I'm okay, um, come find me. So that was always a really kind of stressful thing for me. I didn't really enjoy going into other people's homes. Um, another con for me in terms of going in somebody else's home is you don't have control over your environment. Um, I am very big on control when it comes to my spray tan, only meaning control of the things I can control, temperature, um, where my studio is set up, you know, windows, having ventilation. Uh, when you go to somebody else's house, they don't know, it's, even if you put it in your email, you know, I need a room that has ventilation, I need good light, I need this. They don't always read it and they don't really honestly, it's not as important to them as it is to you. So being in somebody else's home, I had situations where people were having me set up in back bedrooms that had no windows, had no light, it was super hot, you couldn't spray tan anybody because they were just sweating, or I had a situation where people were wanting me to set up in their backyard. And for some people, that's great. For some people, they don't mind it. I invested a lot of money into my spray tan equipment and I just wasn't a fan of setting up equipment that I paid a lot of money for that was honestly bringing me a lot of income in and I just wasn't open to the fact of setting it up in somebody's um, backyard where 
there's dogs and I, it, I, I wasn't in, I wasn't excited about that. So <laughs> definitely when um, doing mobile, you have absolutely no control over that. So that can be kind of a scary thing. You're walking into a, uh, an environment that you don't even know if you're gonna be able to, you know, do the spray tan because of the situations in somebody else's house. So make sure that you think about that. Definitely the wear and tear on your car, taking in and out your spray tan bag, your um, spray tan tent, it can it can be a lot you know oil changes gas um you're putting a lot of miles on your car depending on what kind of area you cover because i know when you first start you want to be everywhere you want to go from this side of town to the completely other side of town and it kind of can get overwhelming um on your on your vehicle so make sure you think about that it it is a lot and you're gonna put miles on your car your insurance could go up like think about those things so another thing that i thought was a con is when you are mobile, if you don't have a way of making sure all of your equipment is in your bag either the night before or the morning of your appointment, the worst thing to do is get to an appointment and you don't have all your supplies. If, I mean literally, I've gone to where I've gone from one end, end of town to another for a spray tan appointment and I forgot my spray tan gun or I forgot the right solution that I wanted or I didn't have enough room in my bag and I didn't bring something that I really needed. Um, so not having that, unless you have something like a, some kind of a checklist to make sure that you have every single thing in your bag every single night or the morning of, um, it can be kind of stressful if you forget something, which I have created a mobile spray tan bag checklist just for that reason. I will link it in the bio if you guys are interested in downloading that for free. You can laminate it, put it in your bag. It is awesome to have, just to have as a checklist before you walk out that door and you don't forget anything. Um, so to me, that was um, the most common pros and cons for being mobile. I will say that I initially thought, you know, clients were going to be, you know, women were going to be so excited that this was going to be such a convenient um, service for them that they were going to love it. I found out really quick that like 80 to 85% of women wanted to come to me. I think getting a spray tan is just like getting a, your nails done, a pedicure done. It's a service. It's a, it's a beauty service that women love that they want to come and get away from, I don't want to say get away from their kids, but they, it's, it's a me time. Um, also, when you're going to their home, they have to make sure that house is clean. It's almost more stressful for them um, because they have to make sure their home is clean, that their kids are obviously taken care of. Um, so it actually wasn't as much of a successful way of marketing that I was coming to them because I would constantly get, well, are you sure I can't just come to your house? <laughs> or can I just come to you? Uh, so that is something that I learned um, pretty quick. So think about that. That may be something that people in your area think of um, as well. So those are the pros and cons that I could think of in terms of mobile spray tanning. Now in home um, or in studio, making a space in your house, I came up with a little pro and con list for that. And again, this is just my personal reasons of what I think are important. Um, so the pros. You got one setup and one takedown. That's it. You can pop up that tent. You have all your setup already ready. You have your extraction unit or an extraction fan. You have all your solution. You have everything that you, you need all set up at one time and you set it up, do as many spray tents as you can and then you tear it down. You don't have to keep doing that. You don't have to miss anything. Uh, so that was a great thing for me is to be able to have everything in one place at one time. Now I know that I talked about going to other people's homes when we talked about mobile. And initially I was actually um, a little scared to go to somebody else or to have people come to my house because I was, was a single mom. But really, I got very comfortable with that situation very quickly. Um, so a pro for me is being comfortable in my home, feeling like I was safe in my home, um, feeling like if something happened, somebody would know. I had, you know, people had access to my schedule and made sure people knew, you know, who was coming to my house. And ultimately, if I, do, if I get a bad feeling about somebody who's gonna schedule an appointment, I don't do it. So I felt like I had more control over that. I can control over my comfort and my safety. <laughs> uh, and that's not something you wanna, that you wanna mess with. So definitely that was awesome. And I said, you know, control, control of my environment. I had central um, AC in my home. I had a place where they could go and they could change. I had um, access to fans. I knew exactly that my equipment was gonna be clean. I knew exactly where I was setting things up. 
um, everything was in my control. Um, and I think that's just my personality, but <laughs> it was definitely nice to know that everything that I needed for a spray tan to make it the most successful, I had the control over that. So that was definitely a, a pro for me. Um, and being organized, like I was just, because everything was there, everything, I have just because I have a little bit of OCD, everything was organized for me. I didn't have stuff bundled up in a bag. I wasn't forgetting things. Um, I knew where everything was and I had access to it really quickly if it wasn't like, directly next to me. So those are my pros for having an in-home studio. Now the cons, people know where you live. And if you're not comfortable with that, that's obviously not something that you want. <laughs> it, it's kind of like what makes you the most comfortable. So a con is people do know where you live and you're like, oh, uh, I only get would give out my um, address to people who actually booked with my appointment and they would get a confirmation of my address. Um, so that can definitely be a con. Space. When I first started my spray tan business, I had a tiny one bedroom little apartment. And I kept thinking, oh, I should get a studio space. Oh, I can't do it in my home because it was so small. But honestly, maybe this isn't a con because I set up my spray tan tent literally in my kitchen and dining room area of my little tiny apartment. And I had a one bathroom that was kind of like their dressing room. Girls loved it. They loved my space. They loved my hustle. They loved that I was doing this on my own and I had an awesome little setup in my cute little apartment and it became something that people love to come to my place. Um, so don't restrict yourself if you think, oh, I just have a really tiny place and I can't do it there. Absolutely you can. Figure it out, make it work, make that money. God, maybe I should have put that on a pro list. Anyways, um, another con though with having mobile is having family in your house. What are you gonna do with them? What are they <laughs> what are you gonna kick your kids out? Um, which I did. I had a certain time frame where I spray tanned from, you know, a certain time at night to my last appointment and I just made arrangements for my kids and my sisters were great help. My mom was amazing. Um, my kids were a little bit older so if I had to just throw them in a room, their bedroom and they had to do homework, then that's what they did. It was our family business and they just kind of knew what worked. But having space can be kind of a, a factor if you don't have an idea of where you want to put all that stuff. So, um, and then the last part is your house has to always be clean. You have to make sure you are constantly cleaning your house because people are going to be there. Um, and like I said, I have just slight OCD, so that really wasn't a big issue for me. But for some people, you know, the last thing they want to do is work all day, come home, and their house has to be spotless for people to come and do a spray tan. So, I hope this helps you guys to think whether you want to be mobile, whether you want to have an in-home studio or some kind of space. Um, I've done a video before about the mistakes I've made um, with spray tanning and I'll link that. Um, but definitely don't rush to get a studio. Uh, mobile or in-home is going to be the best thing for you. Don't go and rush and spend too much money uh, for overhead when you're first getting started. It, you know, Once you get busy, you, you have that clientele kind of locked in. Um, then explore those options. But for the first probably year, year and a half, get creative with what you have. Get creative with the space that you have and figure out if mobile is can be very lucrative. It can be very good as long as you find the right clientele who are willing to pay for the convenience and you're okay with the hustle and bustle of doing all that and the schedule that it ha that it comes with. Absolutely, you know, figure out if that's something that you want to do. So don't forget guys, if you have questions about spray tan or spray tan training, I teach online uh, and one-on-one -on -one classes for spray tan training to become a spray tan technician. I am located in Southern California. I hope these are helping you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know, follow me, do all the subscribing, do the likes, all the stuff. It helps my kids think I'm cool. I hope you, have, you guys have a great day.